everyone. Let's get every question on lysosomal storage disorder correct with just two simple steps. Step one is figure out if there is a cherry red spot or not in your clinical vignette. If there is, there can be only two possibilities. Either it's Neumann pick disease or Tay Sachs disease. And if there is no cherry red spot, then either it's Gaucho's disease or the Krabby's disease. The next step is find out whether there is hepatosplenomegaly mentioned in the question or not. If there is hepatosplenomegaly, Along with cherry red spot, you're dealing with Neumann pick. And if there is not hepatosplenomegaly present, then it's Tay Sachs. On the other side, if there is no cherry red spot present, but there is hepatosplenomegaly present, we're talking about Gaucho's disease. And if both hepatosplenomegaly and cherry red spot is absent, then you're dealing with Krabby's disease. So where there is no hepatomegaly, you will mainly have features of only neurological deficit present. Apart from this, let's also find out what other histological appearances of these diseases. For Neumann Peck's disease, remember two histological features. First is the zebra body inclusions, and second is the foam cells on Tay Sachs. Remember about the onion skin lesions that are present. For Gaucho's disease, the most frequently asked question is the crumpled tissue paper appearance. Another question is on the Krabby's disease where you can find globoid cells. So, by this, we have summarized the lysosomal storage disorders. Thank you.